Here we are, New Mexico. <sighs> Two hour drive. That took a while. <sighs> yeah, it did. But at least we're here. Yeah. Thank goodness. <sighs> Two hours to draw drive to this small little town. <sighs> he better be here. <sighs> I hope so. Come on, we better go to the police department. Let's see if we can find it. I'm sure we can. This town's pretty small. Let's go. Here it is. That was pretty quick. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Okay. Uh, hello there. Hmm? Oh, hello. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, um... We, um, did you get a phone call from an Arizona police department? Who are you? Oh, I'm Ethan, and this is, uh, Emily. Hi. And uh, what can I help you with? Well, we were just wondering, we came down here looking for someone. Scott McCoy. The person that was on the, the person maybe the Arizona Police Department called about. We think he's been murdering people. Yes. Um, how do you know this? Well, we used to know him and we think he's up to something. And, and we think he might be murdering people, and we need someone to stop him. Well, listen. I did get a phone call from the Arizona Police Department. Yes, but... But what? Well, there I looked up Scott McCoy, and there's no one registered in the state of New Mexico under that name. Well, you could have snuck in, right? Yes, you could have, but I don't think so. But haven't there been murders? Like, people who've been sucked dry? How do you know this? Well, it used to happen in our small town. And we think he's here. And... We think he's doing this. Listen, I'll get my guys out on it, okay? Just go home. But we're, we came here to help. We don't need your help. We'll figure this out, okay? He is our lead suspect for right now, okay? So just calm yourself. Everything will be fine. We'll get this under control and we'll be looking for Scott, okay? Please, we really, really, really need you to find him. Something's going on here. Okay? I'll do my best, miss. Now, get home. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> now what? I don't know. We have to go find Scott. By ourselves? Yes. We have to go find him. Where would Scott go? I don't know. <laughs> have to find him. Where are we going to start looking? And what are you expecting to find? I don't know. Anything? Well, I don't know. Come on. 
There, I'm sure there's something on here. We just gotta keep looking. Absolutely um, nothing. Nothing about Scott on here. Well, what were you expecting to find? I don't know. Anything that might lead us in a direction? This is a small town. If he's here, then he'd need blood, right? So, another murder might not be too far off. And if we find out where the next victim is, then Scott won't be far behind, right? I guess you're right. We just have to sit and wait. Yeah. Now come on. Let's just go. Come on, let's turn on the TV, see if they're saying anything about the bodies. Okay. Hello, fellow citizens of New Mexico. Listen, we have some urgent messages. Please stay in your houses and keep the doors locked. There is a crazy maniac murderer on the loose. 20 people have been found dead in just this past week. There has been, let me want to say, 52 murders, murder, murders in the past three weeks. There is a crazy, deranged, psycho murderer out there. All the bodies have been sucked dry of their blood. Something is going on, and we want every Webkin citizen to stay inside their houses, doors locked. Okay, now, please, we're going to go shoot with the um, cop now and see what he has to say about this Hello madness. everyone, I'm Corgi the Corgi, and I'm here with Garfield, the head detective of the police department. Ooh. Uh, hello there. Now, Mr. Policeman, do you have any news for us on these crazy psycho path murderings well we have been looking everywhere and we do have a lead suspect and can you release this information to us no I cannot okay because we're not positive on anything right now but we are looking and we're trying very hard to find out who is doing this Interesting. And he would have a motive to kill innocent people. Because no one has a connection, so we really have no idea what's going on. Interesting. So, is that all the information you have for us? Yes. Okay, now go back to Kiki the Koala. Go, go, go! Well, this is very... Heartbreaking information. Yeah. <sighs> the latest body has been found. Just got this information right here. The latest body has been found near the old schoolhouse. And it's very devastating. Two people were drained dry. So that's like 54 people now. Oh my goodness. I'm hyperventilating! <laughs> Good! What? Oh my gosh. We have to get over to that schoolhouse. Do we know where it is? I'm sure we can find it. It's a very small town. Come on, let's go. <sighs> but Ethan! Strive! I think this is it. Come on. Okay. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. What the? Oh yeah, well, uh, like... I'll be back. What do you think you two are doing here? Well, we heard there was a murdering, and we just came here... No one's supposed to be here. They're all supposed to be locked 
But we're in lockdown. Everyone's supposed to be in their houses. We can't afford another murder. Well, listen. I don't want you two doing anything around here, okay? Yes, sir, but have you checked in with Scott? Listen. I really don't know who it is right now. Well, he is a very good lead. Listen, kid. Just go home. And lock your doors. But, no buts. Just go. Come on. Scott can't be far behind. Well, come on. We'll check the woods or something. Yeah, good idea. There are words right back there. Let's go. Okay. What are you two doing here? Ethan, it's getting dark and I'm getting scared. Can we please go? Emily, please. I'm sure he's here somewhere. I highly doubt it. I really don't think he'd want to go rowing ra ra around these woods. I mean, they are a little creepy. Uh, Emily, please. He has to be here somewhere. Scott, please, can we go? Fine. Let's go. Come on. Wait. Is that who I think it is? What? Scott?